So what are we going to cover today? I'm going to show you how to increase your engagement with your ideal clients and grow your business. But with so many ways to promote your business on Facebook, it's hard to know where to, you know, exactly start. And I get that. So that's what I'm going to share with you, the five places that you should be starting while as you are building your coaching and consulting business on Facebook. So these are the five things I'm going to share, which is a good starting point. So what I wanted to share with you real quick was, um, can you guys see that okay? Yeah, I think you guys can see that okay. Um, what I wanted to show you is that these are my results from my um, recent engagement campaign. Um, for the past 28 days, like last month, I said, okay, at least you're going to track what you're doing. You're going to be more consistent with what you're doing. You're going to be more strategic about your Facebook uh, posting, and then you're going to see what your results are. So from May, a little bit before May, but May 1 into June 2nd, June 3rd, really, these are, have been my results on Facebook, okay? And this has not been with uh, too, too much paid advertising. I think in this whole month, I probably only spent $10 on Facebook ads. And if you missed my last week, was the last week I did Facebook ads? I think I did. I did a Facebook ads training. If you missed that training, then go down to my videos and watch that training. I did say I was going to remove that in the next 24 hours. But I think it's still there. I just hadn't had time. My assistant is like, she got another job. And so I've been like struggling with trying to manage all this stuff together. But you, that, that's not your problem. That's going to be your reward. Because if you missed my Facebook ads training last week, then go to my videos after watching me today and so that you can watch the Facebook ads. But back to what I was talking about. So this was what my reach was, my engagement, and my new page likes with me just increasing my consistency in my engagement. And so the five tips I'm going to share with you today all have to deal with you increasing your reach, increasing your great engagement, and getting more page likes. So as you can see, I had a 380% increase in my reach last month. That's like powerful. And again, remember, I only spent like maybe $10 an ad. So that is awesome. That meant that 3,300 people, more people saw my post than they did last month. That's some good stuff. My post engagement, which I absolutely love because you can be posting all the time and just posting stuff and no one is liking your stuff. No one is leaving comments on your stuff. And it's just like, ugh, what's the point? So again, when you post good content and certain types of content, you are going to get more likes, you're going to get shares, you're going to get comments. And so as you can see, that's what I did. I was a whole lot more strategic with it. And my post engagement increased by 600 more comments, likes, or um, shares. That's a 303% increase than last month. And then my page likes also. I got uh, 28 new likes. Uh, I did lose some. And when you start to post a lot and you start to get in the groove of posting, then you are going to lose some people. Don't worry about that because the people you lose are never, were never meant to be your clients anyway, okay? Or never were meant to, to like your page anyway. But in that whole strategic planning, I gained 28 new likes, which was 115 percent increase in my page likes than for the month before and as you can see i did a total of 47 posts for the month of 20 uh for 28 days you guys can try to multiply that how many posts that is that's probably about two 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 almost about 1.5 posts a day right oh a little bit more than that maybe two posts a day so not bad not bad at all so again these five tips that i'm going to show you i'm going to increase are going to increase your reach engagement and life awesome hey lakeisha hey miss whitaker how you doing awesome awesome all right the five best tips for marketing your coaching or consulting business on facebook are we ready are we ready are we ready are we ready <laughs> awesome all right so number one you want to provide top quality tips. You want to be able to share tips that will make your clients' lives easy, easier. 
So that is one of the things that I love about the Ladybug Club and the Dump You Marketing uh, packages is because I provide you with the tips, the quotes, the, the blog posts, all the things that you need to actually provide quality tips to help make your client base or your potential ideal client's lives a whole lot easier. So you want to pull together some tips, some, some, you know, some solutions some to help your ideal clients, right? You don't want to uh, always keep things. You know, we come from a society that we want to keep things secret and that we don't want to share anything. And that's just not, that's not, we're, honestly, social media, that's not being social at all. Share a little tidbit and, and tips and to show them that you know what you're talking about. And I guarantee you, the more you do this, the more people are going to see you as the go-to person. They're going to start to see you as an authority figure. They're going to see you as, oh, I, I need, you know, help with this. She's going to be the person for this. And guys, let me tell you, I've been providing tips and been on Facebook for years. And people always say, if you're looking for someone to help you with branding or marketing or using the online stuff and, or doing the technical stuff, you want to reach out to Elite. And why is that? It's because I'm always sharing tips. I'm always uh, sharing hacks and teaching people how to do something. So that's really key. Think about that. Um, if you're a Lady Boss Club member, I have made it a whole lot easier for you to do that. Uh, but provide top quality tips. That's number one. Number two, I talked about this in a, a couple of trainings before, but it is still super important. You want to use hashtags, okay? Hashtags can multiply your shares and capture targeted audience members. So the popular hashtags that you uh, see on Instagram, you can use those same hashtags on Facebook. But you can't, you don't want to use as many hashtags as you see on Instagram. Uh, you want to stay within the three to four, um, you know, key hashtags. If you put too many in there, uh, what I've heard is that Facebook will reduce the amount of people who will see it if you have too many hashtags. So stay around the four, uh, three to four good hashtags. And you want to use hashtags that are pretty broad. Like um, on this one, um, she used level up. She used businessmen. She used business women. She used motivation. Motivation is a really big popular one. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you guys are not searching, I do a lot of searching on Facebook with hashtags. So if I'm doing it, I'm pretty sure other people are doing it too. So adding hashtags will help you uh, get found easier. Uh, and it will also start to make it really uh, easier to start to search for content under you. So what I would say is if you're going to use the four hashtag, I would definitely use one hashtag that is uh, relatable to you. So I might use the hashtag just my name, Elise Michelle. But I definitely will use the hashtag businesswoman. Um, women in business is another one. I use a really popular one called social media marketing hashtag. So those are the three ones or four ones that I would uh, stay with. But definitely increase your hashtag game. Right? That's, that's really important. That's basically what I'm saying. So that's number two. Number three, illustrate your posts and links with graphics. A photo will capture attention. I don't know if I even post a, a post without a picture or something attached to it. Why do I do that? It's because we are always scrolling up on the feed, and that's going to get people to stop. So, again, inside the Dump You Marketing Package, I create the graphics for you. All you got to do is take a little and write a little bit. But because I do that, it's because I know how powerful graphics are. So anytime you post anything, you definitely want to include, include the picture, a picture of something. It can be just a picture of you. I think today, did I post it today? Just today, I posted a picture of me on stage. Uh, one of the photographers took a picture of one of my recent speaking uh, gigs that I had. And I posted that picture of me. Why? It's because I didn't really have a quote graphic that fit it. And I knew that that picture, I hadn't shared it in a while. So, hey, it fit the topic. So why not share that picture, right? So sharing pictures of yourself, sharing graphic, quote graphic, 
um, showing pictures of you in action. And what I mean by action, actually doing work, actually coaching people. Uh, if you're doing some kind of, and you're, you're outside with your family or with your husband, those kind of pictures really get people to stop and say, you know, let me see what this person is, is talking about. And either they're going to like it, they're going to comment, or, or they're going to share. And that is the main goal of sharing these five, my five best tips with you. Is because I want that. I want you to have more engagement. I want you to get more likes. I want you to get more eyeballs onto your content. More eyeballs on your content mean that you're gonna get more clients and make more money. So number four. Number four is a big one. Um, and number four is to start developing relationships. And now what I mean by that, you want to be active. You know, um, I talked to a young lady uh earlier this week and we talked about her posts and how often does she post and I knew how often she posted because I went to her page and looked at it <laughs> and if you're not actively promoting your business or actively building relationships with people online then no one is ever going to know that you exist so you want to be active you want to be active on and in, in group you want to be active on people's personal accounts like liking and stuff leaving comments uh, you want to follow and respond to your favorite uh, key influencers. And what I mean by that is you probably got a, a, a couple of people that you follow who get a lot of attention. Well, you want to start leaving comments. You, you want to be seen within those comments area because, again, people are reading everybody else's comments, and then you're going to get noticed. Especially if you're dropping, you know, some really good knowledge or you, you're offering some positive inspiration and stuff like that. People pay attention to that. So you want to be engaged. Also, sharing other people's content is awesome. I do this a lot on Instagram. I share other people's content. I do that also on my Facebook page. So when I, when I like something or I know that my audience is going to like it or my clients or something like that, I share it. And you should get into the habit of sharing it too. Another thing that I do is that when other people share my content, uh, you get a notification, right? And so when I see that notification, I go to their page and I like it. Or sometimes I like it and I leave a comment, okay? Because they see that I see that they're sharing it and I like it. I like that they do that. So I acknowledge them. I give them a simple reward, which is a like or comment. And that means I'm being active. I am watching what my, com my community is doing. Another thing is to also respond to questions or polls or quizzes. I love to to see these uh, posts about, you know, wh what is your fantasy name or something like that. And you had to put two names together. I love those. Uh, I love when someone say, uh, you know, post your, your 10th picture in your phone or something like that. Those are really good interactions, especially when they can see that you are just a, a regular person. Um, and that, you know, they, that you're just like them, basically. So respond to questions, polls, or quizzes, or create your own. Create your own. Awesome. So before I go into number five, let me know if you guys have any questions about Facebook or how to get your, your you know, how to get more clients or whatever that might be. Go ahead and put that in the comment section so that I can address this because I'm about to head on to number five and share with you my fifth uh, best tip on how to market your business <laughs> on Facebook, uh, your, your coaching and consulting business on Facebook. That's the difference, right? I know a lot of times people have these like brick and mortar, they have t-shirt business, which is great, but you guys are my audience. If you're a coach, if you're a business coach, if you're a life coach, if you are a consultant, business consultant, or marketing consultant, then I want to make sure you get the right content and you're getting things that are going to help you build your business, get more clients so that you can get more money. And if you're working at nine to five, so we can get you the heck out of that nine to five job and you can be your own full time entrepreneur. Okay? So, again, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll be sure to address them. So, number five is offer free webinars and uh, and services. Promote these free offers often. So here's one of my clients, Kim Roundtree, and Kim does a Talking Tuesday 
uh, show, and she she has another one, something momentum. I can't think of the name, but she does free webinars or workshops. Remember, I told you guys I was going to do workshops, and um, and this is free content. So that's one of the things about the dump you marketing packages is that the webinars are already done. <laughs> And you can easily just put on a monthly free webinar asking people to sign up for it and that they, uh, when they sign up, you give them the free webinar or they attend the free webinar. Another thing you want to do is give free or free services. And what I mean by free services, maybe um, a free 30-minute coaching call or a free 15-minute coaching call, something like that. Um, but you want to, to start building a, a list. And these free offers are going to be the way that you build your list. And the reason why you want to start building a list, and I know some of you have heard this before because I've heard it a thousand times and it's important, is that you want to start building a list now just in case Facebook just falls off the face of the earth, if Instagram just falls off the face of the earth or something like that, you at least still have a way to contact people or get engaged with them. And to be, be honest and transparent with you, most of my income comes from my email list, but I wasn't able to build my email list. You get me? I wasn't able to build my email list until I started sharing free offers on social media. So offer some kind of free workshop, some kind of free mini course, offer a free service, again, like a 15-minute coaching call. And I want you to promote it often. Promoting it once a month is not enough. Promoting it once a week is good, but promoting it every other day is awesome. Promoting it every day is fabulous, okay? So y'all see where I'm going here. You need to promote it often, often, more often, more so, more to the, you need to promote this free offer or your free service so much that it almost makes you sick to your stomach. And I'm just being real with you. And the reason for that is that people just, don't see your stuff. Like they forget, they see it and they forget it. And sometimes you just need that extra reminder, like, hey, check this out. Hey, <laughs> or don't forget. So, and they might have it on their little, you know, in their notebook to check it out. But again, when they see it in your new in their news feed, it's just a friendly reminder for them to take action. So that's number five. Uh, hey, Miss Dixon, how you doing, girl? That's number five. And again. When you join the Lady Boss Club and, and, and enroll into the Dump You marketing uh, packages or membership, you get a monthly webinar that you can use every single month, okay? New webinar every single month that you can use as a free offer to start building your list, okay? <laughs> to start building your list. So don't be afraid to do it. Check out the Lady Boss Club. You can go to Lady Boss Club. Yeah, dot com. I'm almost forgetting what I'm <laughs> dot com uh, forward slash systems to check out this month's um, Jump Your Marketing Package. So there it is. So this is what is included in the Dump Your Marketing Package again. You get the PowerPoint slide deck. You get the presenter outline, which I, I walk you through step by step. Every single slide, I tell you what you need to say on that slide. You get the fast action workbook for your attendees so they can follow along, so that transformation actually happens, so they are able to apply what you have taught them to their business or to their lives is super important, and that workbook will help them do that. You also get four blog posts that you can use uh, in your blogging or in your weekly newsletters. You can use it. And at the end, every blog post or article has a call to action at the bottom, okay? So that either you are sending them to some free offer or you're sending them to sign up for the webinar, but every single one of those blog posts has a call to action. And all you have to do is drop in your link. That's all you got to do is drop in your own link in that. You also get 10 social media graphics that you can use to promote the web, uh, webinar or workshop. You can also just use them as quality tips to share with people and let them know how important it is to build systems. Uh, and you can use it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And then you also get an eight and a half by 11 flyer that you can actually edit yourself. You can print it, you can post it up into Business Conference Center, you can use it on social media. 
got all these different options to do that. So if you go to Lady Boss Club forward slash systems, you can buy this package, just this package alone, um, for 30, you get $30 off uh, by using the code BIZ30. Okay? If not, if you think, well, girl, I want to be part of the membership, then on that page, you can also check out what is included inside of the membership, month to month membership. And again, if you decide to do the Lady Boss Club, you can cancel at any time, right? I'm not holding you hostage. You don't have to stay in there for a certain amount. And plus, it is so inexpensive for you to get all of this content. You basically are hiring your own marketing assistant for less than $30 a month. Honestly, <laughs> that's basically what you're getting in this package. Okay? So uh, Ms. Dixon said, do you have to make changes to fit your market? You you don't. You really don't. You can use it as is if you want to. Uh, uh, Ms. Dixon, you can use it as is. All you got to do is drop your logo on it. You're good to go. Um, one of the things that I really like about the Done For You marketing packages is that it translates so well into so many different genres or industries, okay? If you're in business, if you're in life, because as a life coach, a lot of times you might be dealing with entrepreneurs who need to get their systems together, their business, their life, they're, they're you know, they're just all confused and all over the place. Well, this PowerPoint slide, this whole Done For You marketing package will address that person also. So all you can you can use it as is, as is. You ain't got to tweak nothing, right? Nothing. Just you might want to take, if I got Lady Ball somewhere, you can just take that off. <laughs> That's all. It's just one delete. But everything else, you can just use as is. Copy and paste and drop it right in. I want to say, trust me, guys, you definitely want to join the club. Girl, you are awesome. <laughs> yes, you definitely do. And if you guys, I'm just going to be really honest with you. You can go and do a search right now. Let me let me, let me, me show y'all my face. I think that's my last slide. Let me stop sharing. Stop sharing so you guys can see me. Okay. So I'm going to just real be honest with you is if you go and do a search, on a dump you marketing package like this, you will not find it at this price point. And you will not find it with all of this stuff in it. It's not. I created it so that it is affordable for you. Um, I'm about to jump on my little bandwagon and I said I wasn't gonna do that. Um, someone, you know, someone, I, I don't even, well, it's not even someone. I keep hearing that people say, oh, you should increase your prices or how do I price my packages? And, oh, you know, you you you, you need to be in the thousands and all this kind of stuff. But let me just tell you, I've been teaching marketing uh, at the college level for over 19 years. And one of my specialties was fashion. And so in the fashion industry, what I would teach them is that there are four different levels of price points, like clothing price points. You got high end, like Louis Vuitton, Coach and all those kinds of stuff. That would be the high end brand. Then you got moderate price. Well, let's do three. We got moderate in between department store. So you got department store, which includes high end and moderate price. So moderate price would be like a Belts or a Macy's or an Express or something like that or a limited. That would be a mo moderate price point. And then you got the budget level, right? And the budget level would be a Kmart, a Walmart, a Target. Those type of levels. And out of those three different levels, price point levels, merchandise price levels, there are customers at each point. Okay. So if you don't want to be the high end luxury, like the Louis Vuitton and the coaches and the, you know, Neiman Marcus and all this kind of stuff, you don't have to be. You just don't have to be. If you want to be moderate price, right? The people like the department stores, the limited. There are people who come there and those companies are doing quite well, okay? They're doing damn well, let me say, okay? And then you got the budget level, Target and Walmart and Kmart. They're doing absolutely, like Kmart is not doing that well. They only got a couple of <laughs> them. And the reason why Kmart is not doing well is because Sears is not doing well. Because Walmart is taking over Kmart's business. But when we had the big recession, Walmart, Family Dollar, Dollar General were way over their budget, like not over their budget, but they made billions of dollars during the recession. 
Why? Because they knew that they had a market. So if you want to stay in the price point in the moderate end or the budget end or the high end, that's your business. Don't let people guilt you into saying that you need to increase your prices. I am moderate price and budget price. And the reason that is, is because I am not a person who is going to spend a whole lot of money on high end stuff. It's just not what I, I've never done that. I don't, I don't believe in that. If a $50 purse will carry a thousand dollars, like a $2,000 purse will, then I'm going to get that $50 purse. It's just, that's just what I do. I spend more money on technology than I do on material things. But I also would tell you the reason why I don't spend a lot of money on that is the reason why I had a whole lot more money saved up when I decided to step down from my full-time job. So just, again, I know, I, I don't know where that, I know where it came from, but I wasn't, I didn't really have any intentions to really share that. But that's been under my, you know, under my skin. Price where you want to be at, okay? And if you definitely want to go to the high end level, then I would say if you are giving of your personal time and you have to do more one on one, maybe that's your high end level. Uh, or maybe you at a high end level and you're tired of giving your one on one time, then let's start putting in some moderate price point and some budget price points into your into your business model. Okay. But don't be feel guilty that you have to start charging uh, $2,000 for a course when you you wouldn't even pay $2,000 for a course. Uh, that's key. If you wouldn't spend $2,000 for a course, then why the hell are you charging somebody else $2,000? And let me just tell you this, okay? And I'm, I'm going to end with this because I'm sweating now. I need to get some water. Let me get some water. <laughs> let me say this final little word. If I ever spend $2,000 for an online course, my expectation level is going to be super high. Now, just like you are in, you go to a hotel. If you're going to spend $400 a night in this hotel room, you are expecting, you are expecting A1 service. So if you're going to price yourself at that high level, just note that people have high expectations when you have high price points. Or you can be like me. I keep it at the moderate price in the budget level, and I'm still going to give you A1 service because that's just who I am. So just remember that. I'm just going to get off my little soapbox. I'm going to see what Ms. Dixon has to say. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's best to join the club. Yes, Miss Dixon, it's best to join the club. It's a lot less expensive. Um, I don't want to, I mean, I, well, I can just tell you, it's $29 a month to join the club. Uh, if you buy the package, I think the package is uh, $47 if you just buy the marketing package. So yes, it's a whole lot inexpensive just to just join the club. And you can always cancel anytime you want, anytime you want. But I can tell you that the Lighted Boss Club members also get a monthly marketing um, training that is separate from this, right? So next Tuesday, the Lady Boss members will get a marketing training um, that is just for them. You also get additional bonuses because I got a bonus coming from them and just a couple of more. And like the end of like week three, they're going to get a bonus so that nobody else will get. So it is. It's, I think it's it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Worth it, and you definitely can cancel it at any time. So, um, okay. So thanks for sharing. That's good. It's the best club. I agree with that. Awesome. All right, guys. So <laughs> thank you for listening to me and listening to my last final little rant that I had. <laughs> and if you guys have any questions or additional questions about the Lady Boss Club, uh, what's involved with it, just DM me. I will definitely address any and every one of your questions. All right. You guys have an awesome and blessed day, and I'll be talking to you next Thursday. Peace out.